Singing a high C at the top of their lungs is an incredible feat for tenors. For tenors, it is still the litmus test and it brings beads of sweat to the foreheads of even acclaimed stars in fear of not reaching the high C. Why did the high C become this importance and how did it come about? On the evening of September 17, 1831, an earthquake occurred in the Art of Opera at the Teatro del Giglio in Lucca. The French tenor Gilbert Dupré sang in Rossini's William Tell for the first time ever the first C with full power from the chest, the so-called ut en poitrine or Italian do in petto. The heroic tenor with the blaring voice was born. The role of Arnold in William Tell is undisputably one of the most difficult tenor roles in the operatic repertoire. The opera-mad writer James Joyce once remarked, I looked through the score of Guillaume Tell and I discovered that the tenor sings 456 Gs, 93 A flats, 92 A's, 54 B flats, 15 B's, 19 C's and 2 C sharps. Let's listen to High C from the opera William Tell, sung by the American tenor Bryn Heimel. His voice is not only powerful and stratospheric in the top notes, but also supple. Especially impressive, the long high C at the end. Until Dupre, the norm was to sing these top notes softly and quietly from the falsetto, the head voice. When Rossini heard this strange sound for the first time, he is said to have been repulsed and commented from faraway Paris. It sounded like the cry of a capon whose throat was being cut. Well, the words of the great Rossini certainly carried weight and normally it would have been enough to put an end to the spook. But the legend of the high sea began shortly after with a tragic bang. What had happened? Dupre's fame began to grow in the years that followed, and he was able to displace his famous rival Adolphe Nouri in Paris as the first tenor of the Grand Opera. The latter was not proficient in the sea from the chest and he secretly escaped to Naples to learn the art of the high sea. But his plan failed and he irretrievably ruined his voice. Out of desperation he threw himself from this balcony in the middle of Naples. Let's get to the question, what is the high sea? The high sea was sung in Rossini's time with a head voice. What means that the singer sang the note only with the upper part of his vocal organ, practically without using the vocal muscles. More than 170 years have passed since Dupré first threw this note from his throat with his powerful vocal muscles, and since then it has become a tradition to sing the sea with chest voice. On many opera evenings, with works by Verdi, the audience eagerly awaits the highlight of the evening, the tenor's high C. They will be surprised, however, to learn that Verdi didn't like the high C at all. It is only in his 23rd opera, La Forza del Destino, 
that a fully composed high C appears for the first time in one of his operas. This was due to the Alvaro of the premiere, the powerful-voiced Enrico Tamberlik. He had asked Verdi to set this note to impress the audience. When Verdi revised the work shortly thereafter, he dispensed with the high C aria and the note disappeared from the score. From then on, he never wrote a high C again. So, every other high C you've heard in a Verdi opera is a tenor invention. Among the most controversial passages in Verdi's work is the ending of the aria Di quella pira from Il Trovatore. One of the first tenors had asked Verdi personally for permission to sing this passage a half note higher as a C instead of the composed B flat. Verdi had expressly allowed this, on the condition that the C would also be sung beautifully. Thus, this convention has prevailed and most listeners only know this aria this way, so that not following it would cause irritation, if not disappointment, in the audience. Even the conductor and tyrant Toscanini, who had eradicated any liberty singers had taken in the 19th century, accepted this convention. In the year 2000, for the celebrations of the 100th anniversary of Verdi's death in the Milan Opera House La Scala, conductor Riccardo Muti ordered to sing this aria in the original version, that is, without the high C. After the aria, there was a hail of boos and it became a real theater scandal that moved the press and minds for days. Let us now listen this high C sung with the tremendous vocal power of Franco Corelli. the most famous piece of the opera La Fille du Régiment and one of the most famous tenor arias ever. It deserves this mainly to the fact that it requires from the singer an incredible nine high C's in only two minutes. Jokingly, it's also called the Mount Everest of tenors. It is estimated that in a tenor generation there are only a handful of tenors who can really sing it perfectly. Luciano Pavarotti became instantaneously famous in the United States with this aria in the early 70s. His Met performance of 1972 have become legend. He won over the audience and became famous with the following tour of the United States and he finally became the tenorissimo on the American continent and the globe. He was given the nickname King of the High Seas. We hear a recording from a 1972 Met performance. Juan Diego Flores Bourmonam went down in history with a famous encore. In 2007, he sang Tonio from La Fille du Regiment at La Scala 
and he was the first since 1933 to be granted a Maria in Cor. Nota bene, this was neither allowed to a Tebaldi or Callas, nor to a Domingo or Pavarotti at La Scala. The French Uton Poitrine differs from the Italian Do in Petto. The French composer Gounod composed a spectacular high C for Faust's climactic aria, which should be sung in the French style, namely in a tasteful manner, and in no case should it be sung in a coarse and uploading manner, which would destroy the mood of this piece. We hear this passage sung by the Swedish tenor Jussi Björling, a high C sung with the greatest naturalness. Wagner's Hilden tenor parts are killer. Yet, with the exception of one opera, he wrote no high C for the tenor. The A was the end. Only in the opera Siegfried there is a high C in the last act, which the tenor only has to tap briefly. <laughs> 